Hi. To create this video, we were promoted by the opinion that the restoration sealing the crown shaft for screw fixation does not have leak tightness, which means a higher risk of peroimplantitis. We decided to check this myth. In order to get into the periodontal tissue from a crown, the microorganism must overcome the filling, crawl under the screw head, descend through it and exit the implant abutment joint. Let's suppose, but if there is an exit, then it can become an entrance. And since every system have an implant abutment connection, except for monolithic implants, and does not depend on the type of fixation, then the chance of peroimplantitis development is the same. Why it's impossible to achieve tightness of the implant abutment connection? Some companies claim that they have managed to achieve complete tightness and are trying to confirm their correctness with the photos with no gaps in the connection. But such studies were carried out outside the oral cavity and show only what is profitable for company. Sound fair enough? Let's take a look at this photo. At thousand times magnification, the gap is clearly visible, but it seems to be insignificant. Now let's magnify the photo and use the scale to calculate the approximate thickness of the gap. As you can see, the thickness of the gap is about 0.6 microns. Other independent studies show that the gap can vary from 1 to 50 microns. The size of the periodontal pathogenic microorganisms, for example, Treponema denticula, can be 0.2 microns. The studies show the complete sealing of the components by method of bacteria inoculation do not take into account the chewing load of the implant, although it cannot be ignored, because it's proved that when chewing, the main deformation occurs exactly at the junction of the implant with abutment. The parts open, the fixing screw loosens, and the tightness is broken. This is confirmed by clinical studies showing that the after five years of using implants, all systems have micro leakage, even in a system with a more taper and even with a screw. Also, it's necessary to remember that many researchers are spent in the perfect conditions with minimal influence of the human factor. In clinical practice, such accuracy cannot be achieved. A dental technician, no matter how careful he is, can damage the surface of the abutment when working, which will impair fit. For the same reason, zirconium abutments show poor tightness. The roughness of their surface after milling provides a gap up to 27 microns, even with a conical joint. So, our small investigation showed that not the type of fixation of the crown affect the tightness, but the reliability of the implant abutment connection. What does this reliability depend on and how to fix the screw longer? Watch in detail in one of the following videos. See us every second Monday, write comments and put likes. Bye!